All right, here's the uh, Bail X2 Tribute. And uh, the whole purpose of this model is to upgrade a Meteor <clears throat> to a 1800 watt to 2000 watt WM400 MK2 uh, series. Provides about five pounds of thrust. So, uh, got a little bit of stencil painting here and some cool silver paint that I found at uh, Lowe's. Uh, inside, got the uh, telemetry model uh, modules all hooked up to monitor temperature. That's this module here. Uh, TM1000 uh, spectrum data collector, and also uh, altitude and and speed. And I kind of ran the speed controller through the nose here, which kind of looks like the old X models. For Bell. And the biggest problem I had with this this unit uh, was the actual size of the motor. So uh, hang on, bear with me while I get this wing out of the way. Now the typical uh, meteor fuselage wouldn't accommodate this uh, big WM400. Uh, fan and induction and the actual size of the motor it's pretty big too so if I stick this guy in there uh, then combine with a 200 amp ESC you see we got some room problems so uh, the solution that I came up with is I uh, took my Dremel tool and honed out this whole section here and then sanded it off with some uh, grit sandpaper so it's smooth instead of grooved it's tough to get a Dremel tool in there and then down in the bottom here uh, created a much bigger area for the ESC to sit in and uh, also uh, increased a little bit increased this hole a little bigger here too for better airflow and then I epoxied the bottom of it uh, to make sure that it's nice and strong down there because it gets a little thin down in that and down in that section I also added another uh, layer of epoxy on the on this uh, seam which uh, in the past has come apart uh, from other models so when we get done uh, this guy will sit down in here Sorry about trying to focus the uh, camera here. I'm trying to do it one-handed. Need to get a tripod. Once I have this guy down in here, that unit will sit in there like that. <clears throat> this will flow through the to the front side. Now, once I have that in there like that, now this motor. Should fit in there just fine. Like so. And one thing I had to make sure of is that when the wing was on, it didn't uh, put any pressure on this. I didn't want to warp this uh, this cone here because, man, that would be bad at 70,000 RPMs. Now, with, uh, with the, those modifications, I also had to... Uh, Draw a little bit, uh, shave a little bit out of the uh, cone on the, the top side of the on the wing part here. Uh, so after I uh, dremeled that and sanded it out, now I've got plenty of room uh, so that this fits on there without binding. When she's all done, she'll uh, fit on there just nice. And uh, I painted the, the bottom of it black, uh, so I'd have uh, so it wouldn't disappear in the sky like I've had problems with in the past. So I'm thinking that uh, silver on top, black on the bottom, with the red wingtips, ought to be able to see it. Now the whole goal of this thing is to make a meteor that surpasses 130 miles an hour. We'll see if it makes it. Uh, I've got some doubts because I don't have retractable gear and 
it is a foamy, but uh, I've made some modifications uh, also to the center section here. I put fiberglass over this area um, to give it a little bit more strength. And then when I do the final assembly of the wing, I'm going to uh, put silicon on this whole area, which uh, Smasher 41 gave me the, the original chip off, tip on that. So with that silicon in there, uh, along this whole section, I'm going to silicon the tabs on the motor, silicon the the, uh, the bottom side of the, the fan housing so that uh, to eliminate some vibrations as much as possible. Uh, bolt everything on and then uh, put a watt meter on it and hope for the best. I'll uh, post some additional videos.